What's up, everybody? It's Zeke. Um, this is a week before the record show, and I have some stuff I want to show. Some some of it very good, I think. Uh, I'm listening to in the background the Cry and Shames synthesis. This is excellent. 60s. Uh, this is a 2i Columbia um, Dunwich thing. Uh, very, very good. Uh, Cry and Shames synthesis. Garage rock. Um, I got some other stuff. I got some. Uh, the seeds falling off the edge. Some garage rock. This is a really nice copy. A 1977 copy of GNP Crescendo. Um, very clean. Sounds great. Really great. Um, I don't know if I showed this already. This I got this early 70s uh, prog folk thing. Uh, it's signed and it's on the Delphi, private press at Delphi, uh, 75. Um, Philadelphia, Adelphi. It says, For Kelly, through the bulletproof glass, the music will flow. Steven, I'm glad you like it. Peace sign, Steven Spano. And it's also got this drawing, this kind of illustration, um, insert thing. Very hippie-ish. This is very good. Um, it has some uh, proggy guitar, kind of psychedelic guitar, fuzz guitar stuff, which is uh, really good. Uh, I got some 7 inches with some nice picture sleeves. Tell All the People, one of the great Doors singles, I think, Tell All the People. I got this, The Beach Boys. Don't Worry Baby, I love that one. Um, okay, so I'll show some of the grails uh, first. Uh, some of the stuff, I think, are, are really grail-worthy. You know, I got this Stooges Funhouse, French Press. This is really cool. What a great record that is, man. That will purify your butthole. Um... Some of the stuff is kind of classic stuff. Uh, here's like a UK Sandinista, the Clash Sandinista. Four LPs. It's really nice to have a UK press of this. A lot of dub-oriented, Brian Eno-inspired, world music-inspired kind of stuff. Um, that doesn't necessarily sound like other Clash albums. I really like this one, though. I think it's really underrated, the Clash. It's a, that's an old, old uh, album, of course. But I got this. Brian Eno's Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy. A great record, and this is a really nice press of this. This is one of those, uh, one of those editions, whatever they call those, uh, you know, where it's like a um, EG edition thing. Uh, and this is, sounds really, really good. Um, I have a, I have a King Crimson um, in the Court of the Crimson King. Um, which is which sounds great too. It's very good too. Um, and you know on that skit on that oh here's another one, a really nice reprise uh, edition of Trout Mask Replica, Captain uh, Beefheart's Trout Mask Replica. Kind of do the Grails up front. The stuff I think that are the really nice uh, editions. You know the really well known albums and stuff that I got good copies of and everything. Um, some of this other stuff I, is, you know, I think is, is terrific. A couple of them are reissues. Um, uh, some of them are kind of 70s obscurities, which I love, but not everybody does. Well, one thing I'll show here, this Max Roach Jazz in 3-4 time. Nice stereo press. This was only 3 bucks on Mercury, which I think is a hell of a find. This is a classic jazz album. Um, still, you know, with this price tag and everything. I mean, it's still in great shape. Um, it was more than three bucks, even though it was a buck, buck ninety-seven back then. I think that's a hell of a fine. I think this is a hell of a fine. Slim Harpo on Excello, Baby Scratch My Back. Um, Nashville, Tennessee, but Excello was a was a Chicago label. Um, yeah, this is this is a bad. I like. I mean, this is fantastic. Slim Harpo, Lightning Slim recorded on. Also, Roscoe Shelton recorded on. Uh, um, Excello. This is the second Excello that I found recently, and this was not expensive. This was five bucks, which I think is a steal. Um, these are so hard to find. This sounds just wonderful, by the way. Uh, sounds so, so good. Uh, the quality of these old records like this on Crown and Excello and uh, Chess, and I mean, they still sound marvelous even today. Uh, Blue Note, you know, the, 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 that stuff just sounds so good even today. And, um, this was great to find. You may know this song from uh, the Rolling Stones' "Exile on Main Street," where he does a hip shake, uh, "Shake Your Hips." This—that's the song, and it's, it just comes through perfectly. 
perfectly. I mean, this is an awesome addition to my blues collection. Another classic that I found for three bucks, Dwayne Eddy's twang, twang thing. Um, and his twangy guitar and the Rebels, you know, this, you may know, 50s guitar, Dwayne Eddy, that's such a classic thing. I see these quite a bit, actually. Jimmy Reed on VJ. I got a couple VJ records. This one is more common. Live at Soul City, this is a great uh, live blues album. Uh, but this one is the one I think was a better find, a really special find. Little Richard's back on VJ. Uh, this was cheap, too. This was $3. There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Classic 50s songs. Um, Blueberry Hill, you know, it was Fats Domino's song. And Money, Honey, and... Uh, uh, Cherry Red and Hound Dog, which was a, um, you know, song made famous by Elvis. Um, memories were made of this. All these classic songs, you know, you know all these. Short Fat Fanny, Groovy Little Susie, Good Night Irene, Money Honey, you know, the Beatles did a lot of these songs. Classic stuff, classic, for, that was great for that price. Ray Charles, A Message from the People, still in shrink wrap. This was two bucks. Really nice copy of this, was happy to have that. George Jones, this was a dollar, singing the blues. Found this at a flea market. Um, I also found this at a flea market. Of course, I have other copies of this. This is a particularly clean copy, Nashville Skyline, 2i Columbia. Um, I also got the new Dylan, um, the CD of um, another another self-portrait, which is which has songs, outtakes from self-portrait, has, has outtakes that were you know, later put on uh, New Morning and the early 70s era Dylan stuff, uh, including like Went to See the Gypsy, which is one of my favorite. I love that. I love that. Those are great songs. Um, the Day of the Locust, the Locust Sang or whatever, those are great songs. Uh, those are That's really cool, but I'm a big fan. Not everybody needs to buy that, not at all, but I'm a huge Dylan head. Dylan Knight, Dylanologist, as they say. Um, this was a thrift store find, an awesome, or rather, this was a flea market find, and a rather awesome one, I think, uh, Desmond Decker and the Aces, the Israelites on uni, and you, this is reggae, and you would, roots reggae, and you would know this from, like, um, Jimmy Cliff's The Harder They Come, uh, classic, I mean, this is just awesome, this was a buck, and it's, it's such great shape, too, um, this is Stereo Press on uni, uh, I don't know, early 70s, I would think. Uh, but this is badass. This was a great flea market find. Stoked to find that. Here's a Juicy Lucy record I didn't have on Atco. Juicy Lucy's a psychedelic rock group from the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, and I'm a big fan. This is an awesome uh, soul record, black exploitation record. Bobby, B Bobby Womack, Across 110th Street, which was a film that had Anthony Quinn in it. Um, a black exploitation film. Um, this on United. Uh, what other great soul was on United? Uh, War was on United. Uh, this, you know, contemporaries of this, peers of this would be like Shaft, and Isaac Hayes, and Curtis Mayfield. Um, Superfly is a famous one, and Isaac Hayes. Uh, uh, I already said Isaac Hayes, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, Isaac Hayes, uh, Curtis Mayfield. Um, you know, there, there are just there are tons of black exploitation soundtracks. Uh, uh, James Brown's Black Caesar. Um, I'm, I, I collect black exploitation soundtracks. I love that whole, all those cold films. Okay, um, so these are these are not Steve Reich desert music. This is very good. Maybe not as well known. I don't know. Um, I traded for this on none such. This is like digital era though. This is 90s or 80s stuff, so you know this is probably a CD on vinyl. But still, I was happy to have it. Um, my wife came home and she said, "Oh, you know what? Here's here's a Grail that I should show you." Bela Cootie's Black President. This was a great find. Uh, great, one of the I mean, one of the all-time great Afrobeat records. Fela. Um, Funny, because they used to call him the black president. Now we actually have a, an actual real black president. But at the time, that would have been un, unthinkable, probably. Um, I also got a reissue, a really nice reissue of some Afrobeat. The Dawn of Awareness. Um, this label is, is great. This company is great that, that, that puts these out. The Dawn of Awareness. This is fantastic stuff. Um, yeah, so my, my wife came home. She said, 
you know, the the neighbor's having a garage sale, and so I went over there, and he, and he had records, so I went over there and I found a couple soul records. One of them was this Millie Jackson's Feeling Bitchy from the late 70s. This is pretty cool. Real catty, but, um, you know, it's kind of like Donna Summer era, but it's like a real soul record. This is on, this is on uh, Polydor. Um, and, and this, you know, Spring Records on Polydor. Spring had a lot of soul stuff. Uh... It's not disco-ish though. It's more like a Etta James, and you know, and her voice kind of sounds more like Gladys Knight. But it's it's real uh, uh, edgy and has a lot of you know cursing and a lot of catty, gossipy kind of talking of, over the tracks and stuff. It's it's fantastic. Here's a great uh, jazz record: Eric Dolphy on Prestige with Ron Carter, with Maul Waldron. Um, this is awesome. This Van Gelder's in the Dead Wax. Van Gelder mastered this. This is an awesome jazz record. It was a great find. And a great country record here. Uh, Lubbock on everything. Terry Allen. Um, on Fate Records, 1979. Really hard to find this, actually. This is a terrific country album. Um, a real you know, classic type stuff. Uh, so... This is on Excello, Lightning Slim's uh, London Gumbo. Early 70s Excello. This is still in the shrink wrap and actually starting to kind of uh, bend it a little bit because the shrink wrap's so old and tight. But this was a uh, London dates in early 70s and this was great. Like I say, Lightning Slim recorded on Excello. Um, have a couple reissue things. Let me show you that this is a comp on a German Fontana comp of uh, Dave D, Dozy, Beaky, Mitch, and Tick. Um, this is great. I really love this. This is kind of a UK 60s uh, pop garage kind of thing, and it's very good actually. I really, really like it. Um, I got this Larry Coryell acoustic album, Standing Ovation. German pressing of this on Mood Records. Beautiful, beautiful playing, masterful uh, guitar playing. Um, classical and jazz styling it's it's really wonderful here's the other garage sale funk record I got the Cl uh, Dave Clark and, or rather Stanley Clark and uh, George Duke um, Stanley Clark played with Return to Forever and George Duke played with Frank Zappa and they both had extensive solo careers and uh, this is actually quite good a lot of their George Duke's recently passed away a lot of their solo stuff is not great but this is pretty good that was like 50 cents um, here's a vertigo swirl of Alex Harvey, the sensational Alex Harvey. Um, not one of the more desirable, uh, vertigo swirls, and this was cheap, but still, I didn't have it, and I like it. I like Alex Harvey quite a bit. Um, amazing Blondell. They recorded on Virgin. I don't think this is on Virgin, though. Um, this is on Capitol, but, uh, this is, uh, Amazing Blondell, we're from the UK, of course, and this is, uh, uh, truly like medieval, um, classical medieval kind of music, uh, an acoustic, you know, um, musicianship. They look like the old masters, kind of. They look almost like, like Rembrandt on the Rembrandt characters on the cover here. Um, and then, you know, they're, they're with these big old Mastiff dogs and these old, uh, uh, medieval looking UK dogs. Um, maybe this is on Island. Let me see. This it, I really I really like this quite a bit. It's unlike a lot of their other stuff. Yeah, it is a pink rib island. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's also available on Capitol, but this is a pink ribbed, uh, pink rib rimmed island. Tongue tied and tongue twisted. The real classic soul record on United. Little Little Anthony and the Imperials. Very cool. I really like that. Um, last one I'll show. Actually, a couple more. Ceremony. This is a reissue of Japanese psychedelic on, on Phoenix, which is uh, fantastic. I love the Phoenix and A Karma. The stuff they reissue is just uh, wonderful. Um, this is great. Of course, it would be very hard to find an original one. Uh, Buddha meat rock people. This is just terrific. Um, uh, you know, there's a couple other things I might show here that I found. Um, I found these Iron Maiden records at the th at the flea market. I'm gonna sell these or trade those. I found this uh, Little John is an obscure 
um, 70s uh, brass rock, um, which sounds a lot like early Chicago, sounds a lot like Blood, Sweat, and Tears. It's actually quite good. The musicianship is quite good. Here's a nice psychedelic uh, Christian rock record, which I really like. Um, Overland Stage, this is very good. Looks like an obscure obscure 70s rock group. You, know, the, you can kind of tell just by the cover. And on that same token, uh, I should probably show some other 70s obscurities that I picked up. I picked up this. I picked up, it's funny because I just picked up um, Sand. Uh, and then I found another copy at the flea market uh, for a buck, and I picked it up anyway. Now, one of them obviously is a DJ copy. Um, it has it says DJ on the back, but it's the same record. Just one has the hype sticker, and the other it's a DJ copy, and the other one isn't. <laughs> Yet I still picked it up. I, I'm just such a, I'm so obsessed with that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I picked up this Pharaoh Annie John Redborn. Who had roots, this is 1972, he had roots in, you know, UK folk stuff. Um, he, he's connected to the uh, uh, Fairport Convention and a lot of other groups uh, like that. Connected to the Incredible String Band and that kind of stuff. He played with all those guys and knows all those guys. Michael D'Abo, Broken Rainbow. Connected to this is a promo copy, and he's connected to Michael Mann or Manford Mann rather. Then I found this at a flea market, a total obscurity um, from the 70s or late 60s, even 1969, I think it is. Deep Water Reunion. This is probably vocal. Um, and so they play like a lot of covers, 60s covers. It's signed on the back too. All the all the musicians signed it. Um, Probably, you know, I'll Be Your Baby is a Dylan song, and uh, Baby Blue is a Dylan song, and Jet Plane. Hey Jude is a Sweet Caroline. Hey Jude is a Beatles song. Games People Plays from Joe South was a hit in the 60s. Sweet Caroline is a Neil Diamond song. These are all covers. You know, this is a this is a pretty obscure, um, small-time kind of thing, but it's actually really fun to listen to. Some of the singing is uh, really interesting, too. It's recorded in Minneapolis. I really don't know much else about it. Uh, I also got this reissue locally here. Josephus, Not Dead Yet, from the late 70s. This is number 110. This is actually not that good. Released Unreleased 78 studio sessions. Uh, I'm actually not that into this. Uh, but it was okay, you know, to get it for what I got it for. Real cheap and stuff, so. Okay, I'll stop. Um, thank you all, and sorry the video went so long. I tried to keep it shorter than that. Take care. Bye.